I'm surprised she was so nearby. Everyone, you can wait here. You'll do this alone? Isn't that dangerous? What? You think she could possibly best me? It's not that, but, you know, just in case. Avoid taking any unnecessary risks. It's fine. I just want to talk girl to girl. Don't you dare follow me. Ah, uh, no fear. I want to talk to Belly. Don't act selfish when you talk to her. Be careful out there. Uh-huh. I'm going now. Your master? What do you mean? Oh, I guess you forgot. That's only natural. Both your source of power and memories are in here. Uh, red gem? I won't give it back, though. It wouldn't be very fun for you to become my master again at this point. But it should be okay if I only let you touch it. If you're lucky, your memories may return. My memories... may return? <laughs> okay, enough of that noise. Judging by your reaction, you really did get your memories back. How does it feel? <gasps> Looks like it was traumatizing. Did all the memories flood you at once? Or was it their terrible contents? I... I... am the god of destruction? Yeah. You're a god whose only purpose is to destroy. And father, you're my pet? Yeah. I eat the worlds you destroy. Then everything returns to nothingness. That was our original role, you see. I was Shushu's friend. She was my first and only friend. Yeah. You forgot your role and became friends with the undisputed god. I couldn't stomach the sight for long. I... destroyed? Yeah. I destroyed... Shushu's world? Yep. Sure did. Even though... Shushu opposed it. Uh-huh. What should I do now? Well, well, well. Once the undisputed god gets her memories back, what'll she think of you? There's only one solution. Oh, there you are! Shushu. Found ya! Before I go and off that stupid planet-eating jerk, I wanted to see you. By yourself? Yeah. If it's just you and me, we can probably communicate better. You're lucky, Shushu. You have so many friends. They're not my friends or anything. They're my peons. Just my peons. What business do you have with me? After popping in and starting fights with me so many times, you're still gonna play dumb? You... remember? Kinda, sorta. I'm still unsure of a couple things. Are you... angry? Sure am. I'm super pissed. Yes. I figured. Do you get why? Like, do you really understand? I destroyed your world. Right! But I was fighting with you, too, so... I gotta take half the blame. No. It was all me. Oh, yeah? If you want to think that way, fine. I... won't apologize. I 
wouldn't forgive you if you did. Yes. I know. Um, actually, you don't know. The problem's why you destroyed it. Because... I'm the god of destruction. Ugh, I knew it! Ugh, that pisses me off! But you were... super pissed already. Ugh, that's it! I thought I could be all peaceful, but I gotta crack that jaw first. We can talk afterwards. We have nothing to discuss. As the god of destruction, I must oppose the undisputed god Shushu. Shut up! I said we can talk after! Get ready for my biggest punch! This time, I will win. This one might require some effort. Well then. I love you. Our victory was obvious. <sighs> That's better. <sighs> what? That didn't hurt too bad, did it? Truth be told, I kinda held back. I failed to win. Of course you failed. The ultimate undisputed god can't lose to a lowly god of destruction. Hurry and do it. Huh? Do what? You're... going to kill me, right? Please do it quickly. Why do I gotta do that? That's so annoying. It's... annoying? I ain't gonna kill ya. But if you're gonna be all mopey, I might punch you a few more times. But... I'm the god of destruction. You're a flippin' broken record, you know that? But... as the god of destruction... I'll continue to destroy your worlds. Like I said, that attitude's pissing me off! Owie! What's up with you? Saying you gotta destroy stuff because it's like your job? Is there like a rule book or something? Um, instead of a rule, more like my destiny? That's not my point. Isn't it more important to do what you want and not do what you don't? What I want? That's what I said. I didn't make the original world just because I'm the undisputed god of everything awesome. I made it because I wanted to make it. Because you wanted to? So, I mean, if you say you destroyed it because you really wanted to, I can't forgive you, but I'd understand. But, if you say you did it because you're supposed to destroy stuff, then I'll keep whacking your head with my fist. <sighs> so, which is it? Do you want to destroy? Destroy the world? Destroy me? <sighs> Give me your answer. I'm not gonna go anywhere until your mouth makes the words. Not... You're like a morgue! Make some noise! I... Don't want to destroy. Say it louder. Make the effort! I don't want to destroy. They're your things. My friend's things. I'd never want to destroy my friend's things. That'll do, girl. That'll do. I... I... What are you crying for? Come on, let's go. Where are we going? Back, to where he is. Asking me to go, too? Are... are you sure? What, you think I'd just leave you here? I mean, Welsh and Shiruru like you even more than I do. Sometimes I wonder if they know what master really means. <sighs> Besides, we're... friends. <sighs> Jeez, what are you making me say? Come on, Belle. Let's get moving. Belle? It's easier to say. No good? That's not it. I... I like it. It's nothing to smile about. If you don't hurry, I'll leave you behind. Okay. Sorry for the wait. Oh, you're back safe and sound. 
Yay! Belly's here too! <sighs> I dragged her back with me. She wouldn't come quietly, so it took some convincing. <sighs> come on, say something! I'm sorry. Ugh, what a creepazoid. Why are you apologizing? Welcome back. Um, I'm glad we can travel together again. The prodigal daughter returns. It's safe to assume you intend to remain with us this time, right? If it doesn't trouble you too much, it's no trouble at all. We shall cloak you in our most welcoming aura. Is this really okay? We're fighting your father. That isn't my father. That's my pet. Your pet? It's my responsibility to correct him. I must stop him. I'm not sure I follow what's going on. You'll explain this to me, right? Uh. Quite a large-scale story. Shushu didn't imagine it after all. Would you quit saying that already? Why do you all believe her right away? Different moral fibers, maybe? When you left us on Sunworld, did you regain your memories? Yes. I went to speak with Foth, with Forgus, and then returned. <laughs> then why'd you attack us after getting your memory back? An incomprehensible action since you did recollect our friendship. I assumed there was no way I'd ever be forgiven, and that we could never go back to the way things were. That's why I decided I could at least fulfill my destiny as the God of Destruction. Stop thinking so much about stuff. You're getting all doom and gloom on us. I wouldn't hold a grudge against you. Hmm. Well, to me, Missy, destroying a world is a pretty big deal. Man cannot comprehend the logic of gods. It is basically beyond the capacity of our human minds to understand. It's nice that she forgave you, huh? <sighs> but I mean, like, we can win now. I feel like with two ex-gods on our side, we can totally win. I doubt our victory is that assured. Have you both regained your powers? My destructive powers are held within Borgus. Powers? Like the ones kept in Shushu's fragmented gem? Yes. Mine's a red gem. In other words, both Shushu's and Valeria's powers are in Borgus' hands? More accurately, his hands and stomach? That sucks! Unless we beat him, we can't get your powers back. But we can't beat him until we get them back. Times do I gotta say it? Jeez, beating him is a cinch. A cinch! Again, with the unsupported conclusions. If winning were only a matter of confidence, it would be a very easy battle. Unless we hurry, Borges will consume another world. Right, we can't lollygag here. Even should we lose, the end result is the same. Last time, he swatted us out into deep space like it was nothing, so... It's merely my personal suggestion, but we could gather as many people as possible and flee in an airship. Nuh-uh! You want to suggest I let that slobbery schmuck eat my world? What a pickle. It'd be nice if we had some kind of assurance we'd win. Um! What the...? You scared me! Don't yell without warning. Oh, sorry for the outburst. What? Go on. You shouted because you want to say something, don't you? Yes, I do. Actually, you see, I... I'm sorry. I've held on to this the whole time. Is that Shushu's gem? Why do you have that? Because Soil World is my home world. I guess you did say that. You picked it up before you left on your original journey? Yeah, it was so pretty that I kept it as a good luck charm. Ugh, that's something you gotta admit earlier. 
Still, nice, Ryuto. He was acting like such a hesitant dork, so I thought he did something gross. Um, why did you hide it for so long? Well, if I returned it, that means Lady Shushu would go back to being the real undisputed god, right? Isn't that good? Not to mention why we've been hopping around the worlds collecting them. If she goes back to being a real god, she can't remain with us, right? She wouldn't be able to talk with us or travel with us like this. Huh? That... I don't want the worlds to go away, and I don't want Lady Shushu to go away either. Ryuto... <sighs> Oh my gosh, someone say something! <gasps> this is so awkward. Give me a break. What can another man say to top that? If I go back to being the undisputed god, does it mean I'd have to be alone again and watch the worlds by myself? I couldn't be with them anymore? I went through so much trouble to obtain... Obtain these... But that's why I gotta stop the one who wants to take them away. I... This world... These people... Shushu! Hey, Shushu! When you get lost in your own thoughts like that, we all get nervous. Ugh. It's cause you're an idiot! A stupid idiot peon! Stupid, stupid peon! Don't say stupid so much! I just... I'm not gonna go anywhere. No way! I wouldn't leave my peons like that! Really? You really won't ever go away? Man, you're so friggin' needy! You don't trust my words? That's not it, but... Fine, consider it an order. Trust my words. Now gimme! Alright. Thanks. With this, I can... What was happening? I did not know. What was happening before my eyes? I did not understand. That Valeria's pet opened his mouth wide and bit down on the world. My world. The pet's name? Was Vorgus, wasn't it? In Vorgus's mouth, half of my world was swallowed. Valeria screamed at Vorgus. Stop, she screamed. But... But my ears could not hear a thing, except for my seething rage. This blood-red feeling took over my body, and I, toward Vorgus, toward Valeria, I flew toward them. <laughs>